finally came in. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, right there. Praying hands. We got that package. Yep. Finally got the package. What up, guys? We came back. Back at it again. I'm so excited for these. They finally arrived. Um, I'm sure you can tell. I'm sure you can tell by the... Uh, by the you know the title of this video you know what we're gonna be unboxing but let's see and I'm sh you know actually there's been a lot of videos I'm sure by the time that I upload this video there's gonna be a lot of videos already out of unboxing and reviewing these shoes cuz I got these online I got these on Adidas website you know I, I got lucky on the website and um, it said that there's actually more of these that actually came out than the previous Yeezys so one well, there you go they're easy right they're Yeezys v2 core white so i got pretty lucky on I'm, I'm purchasing these purchasing these off of the adidas website so here we go y'all can see me i'm pretty excited to open this up i'm gonna wait for it it looks weird because i got a letter in the mail not oh, in, in my email saying like oh from adidas.com something saying like you know we apologize your shipment like to come in in um, in time as what you thought it would be coming at he's a $20 gift card he's a pin here's the here's the ad here's the uh, the code and, and all this stuff and that was kind of sketchy just because online when I tracked my order it said it was gonna come in on time so that's why, like, I didn't know if I should trust it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait to see if it comes in. And if it doesn't come in on time, then I could see what's up with that message. But I think that message was, must have been like a spam or something, trying to like make some money off me. I don't know. So here we got it. 350. This is gonna be actually my second pair of Yeezys. The first pair that I had were Pirate Blacks. Um, I tried them on. And there was, uh, I got a size 10. This is my natural size for the Easy 2006 Pirate Blacks. And they were a little bit big on me. And I tried them on. You can probably go back to one of my older videos. I, it was just a short video of my girlfriend, you know, reacting to him. But um, I tried them on and whatnot. And they, they didn't fit me that well. And they didn't look that great on me. I thought, just because my style isn't really that type of style. So I'm hoping these might... These might look a little bit better on me. So here you got the 350. Here you got the Easy Boost 350, made by Kanye, made by Adidas. Here you go. Um, you got the size, code, and whatnot. Let's see what we got here. Open up the box. I don't want to open up all the way, I don't know. Oh, they're here. Swagging out. These are, I mean, honestly, every time I get a, well, this is my only, only second time getting a pair of Yeezys, but when, the first time when I got them, it was like a kind of a surreal moment just because they're so hard to get. And obviously, it's, you have to be really lucky to get them retail, so I got these retail. And you know you have to be really lucky to get them. So every time I, you know, get a pair, uh, it's like a surreal moment. It's like, ah! but yeah. So my first thoughts right off the bat, they are definitely not a pure white. They're definitely not a a, a nice white. Um, these actually look a little bit more of a a tannish color, to be quite honest. They're definitely not white. So I'm uh, I don't know like. I've actually seen a lot of videos before and they all said the same thing that it's not a really a core white so it's kind of like I'm not really that upset just because I've heard about it but I wish it was a little, a little bit more white got one pair and we got the second pair put them back in here So 
So these are my size. I'm definitely gonna have to try them on. This is literally a pure like straight up unboxing. People say that they unbox, but they already opened the box and they already checked them out and everything. So this is my really off first first reaction looking at them right now. So that's the one thing with the color. Um, got the boots down here. Got the little bit clear, the clear bottom. I don't know if you can see that well. Obviously, one side is all black with a little bit of undertone layering, kind of. You, you probably can't see it in the camera, but there's a little white, white little swirly part right there. So, these look a little bit big. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna fit me, even though they are my size. But just right off the top, they look kind of look, look like really big shoes. Um, I don't know if that's because you're not able to put your whole feet behind here. I, I'm not quite sure right now. So, I'm, okay, so I'm gonna mention what everyone mentions is that this type of mirroring effect or whatever, however you call it, you know, you can't read it the same way. So this is obviously backwards. You you can't read it, or I don't know if you can read it because it's the camera, or it might be a little double, double like canceling it out. Maybe you can read. It, I don't know. But this is the correct way you can see it. This is the left foot. So, what is there to say? Right off the bat, these look pretty cool. Right off the bat, when I first saw these, I honestly thought they were really weird. Especially the beluga colorway. That's not my style. Like I can't, I can't see myself rocking those. But these, which is like a lot toner toned down colors. I can see myself rocking, especially because I've never had like a all black shoes, you know, like all black, like black top, black bottom. I usually have a black top, white bottom, and I only have Ultra Boost right now, those ones that you just saw, and I, uh, they're gradient. Um, then I also have a Pure Boost that I don't wear anymore, but those were the first boost that I had. So since then, I've kind of stick to Adidas, stuck to Adidas. I always liked Adidas, but obviously after the hype came in, you obviously saw better styles and a lot more reactions to them so Oops, let me see Ooh, that new that new that new shoe smell nothing like it I'm not gonna take out the bottom of it so inside is actually pretty cool you can see this the stitching of it inside got the the reflective reflective three stripes right here supposedly um, just because I'm not that big of a sneaker guy, but I do like these sneakers. I, I kind of, now that, I, now that I got accustomed to the visual aspect of them, I do kind of like them better than the Pirate Blacks and the version ones. Um, just slightly better. I don't know. But, th but then again, like this whole, whole like type of swirling kind of design is not really my style, but this is kind of a hidden, hidden aspect to this type of shoe. So you can't really see it. Um, so... I'm gonna have to try them on and see how they fit me. So, here's one more look at them. Let go. So, I'm gonna try them on. Hopefully, you can see how a good visual, visual right there. Got my little pantuflas on. These are hella comfortable. Shout out to my mom though for the hookup though. Even though if it ain't Christmas though. We got them Nautica La Flames. I got these on sale. Well, not really on sale. I got them at Burlington Co. Factory. So, you know, they got them deals. Nautica, Low Boat. Shout out to Low Boat. So, let's see. Clean them off. Ooh. Yep, these are really snug. At first sight, I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. But they definitely have a snugger feel than the V1s. That's just right off the bat. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to put them on here. Tend my natural. So definitely, definitely really comfortable. I don't know if you can see too well. I'm probably gonna have to have set up the camera in a different angle got these sweats on kind of baggy on me right now but i'm probably gonna give you a different different look in a different area because it's not the best angle to look at them 
Give you a back look real quick. But I'm running I go far and far and far And keep on running I don't know where I'm going So guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know, I'm kind of new at this YouTube stuff and I rarely post, but I'm, I'm definitely trying to like post my life vlogs or whatever, or weight loss or whatever the case may be. I'm trying to start up my own channel. So um, if you liked it, please like. If you want to share, share. Um, please sub because I'm a cool person. You want to keep in touch with me though. Swag, 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 swag. You dig?